we can just get started because everybody probably sees the list we're playing on the screen somewhere. Everybody, we have David. David's new to the channel, but not new to my heart. Hi, David. Oh, I'm first. Yes. Okay, so we're doing Sabotage Showdown. I wanted to bust my Bounty Hunters back out. Had Bane first? That feels bad. I'm going to put him in reserve. Once again, we don't have a lot of space on this table. Had Bane in reserve to get Aura Singh. Okay. He will advance and then uh, take cover. All right. I'm going to go with... I will go with Ooh, Sindu. You going with him? Yeah. All right, so his first thing is he gets to do rush to action, so I get to choose a dash action with another Galactic Republic unit and himself. Um, so I'm going to choose Padme. He's going to do a free dash and then Civil Mace. Oh, I forgot to put control down. Um, oh I'll yeah, it won't matter for that red, one. Red, obviously. But I think I just have this one and this one. So we're going to go underneath here. Mm -hmm. For his first action, he'll do a move. Django's not a big fan of <laughs> but if you're coming this far this early, I feel like we've got to just... We can do a hunker there, uh -huh. and that. That would let me use the ingress bike? Yeah. No. No? Uh -huh. you got to push. That wasn't a move. Oh, it wasn't a move action, right. So I have to stay there. But I do get a hunker on him, and he will stay there, and I will get that one also. And then that's uh, three points for you. We've got bounty hunters. They're um, thingy. On the hunt, they each get to dash towards an enemy character. So little bro is going to dash and then pop up here. And big bro, I think he's going to just do the same thing. So now second action. I think, what is their range? They can shoot at five. We might be able to get into range with for a shot. Is that on? Yeah. All right, well, they might as well just uh, hurry over there and shoot at Padme. So we're just gonna go straight over here. This guy's gonna move here. That'll put you in range of like... Man, do I wanna almost just... Almost everybody. Do I want to just say, hey, let's <laughs> focus fire both primaries and see what happens? Because primaries... What if I'm the first player ever to take a primary off the board? <laughs> Has it ever been? I it's, don't know. It's probably been once. Probably. Once or twice. Um, and then this guy's just going to come up over here. But We're going to... They're just going to both shoot at Padme. The little guy shooting at Padme. Shooting at Padme. Two expertise on range becomes a crit and a damage in the pool. Ooh, okay. Well, we blocked the one hit. Okay, so they got two, which is going to be... Uh, this is going to be... Do I want to shove her? Nah. We'll just make that three damage plus the extra one, so four, four damage. Yeah, Deveronian. I almost forgot there was another guy. The expertise on this one is just a, another block and a heal after. A heal? Yeah. Ooh. Um, ooh, there we go. <laughs> well, blocker hits. You'll be doing two again, so it's going to be another. It's another three damage, plus the one damage, right? Nope, I didn't get an expertise this time. Okay. So just three more, which puts you at seven. Seven. I get a heal on the heal six. One. Or, is, or is too far away from that one, so I get uh, two points and a pity point. Um, what's the shatter point bonus on this? One. Oh yeah, we didn't even slip <laughs> no. the first card. The because the shatter point bonus is the refresher force. A shatter point card, which I don't want to use right now. So I'm gonna spend a force to draw my next card, which will be the handmaidens, and shuffle this back in. This one will move over to here. And this one will move. We move right over this one to right about there. And then we're going to spend another force to expose flank. Not my flank. Which will put this one... Like, I just, get I just want him like right there. Yeah, that looks like it works. I feel like... I wish that ability said... 
if you're just higher than at a higher elevation than your target. I know. So because now that they're up here, you can't use it again. You so, gotta like go down and back up, down and up, down and up. Yeah. Like what? That seems silly. So you have to use your move. Yeah, to go down to get the free focus action. So we'll start with uh, this one, and we'll shoot at the Devronian. I okay. Think. Uh, and they'll have a focus action in Sharpshooter 1, so that'll be two extra attack dice, putting me to 7. So we got three expertise, which on their guns is two extra hits. So we're going to have five hits total. Uh, one expertise is an extra block, so I guess that comes out to two hits for you. A jump. And a damage and two damage, so three damage total. I, I'm just short, so I guess I'll just push myself up to the sledge. Um, and then the other one will do an attack. So five hits and a crit. Five hits and a crit. Uh, block, that's two extra, so I'm blocking three hits. Okay. So we got three successes. Yeah, so that'll just be, that'll be a total of four damage and a disarm to you. That is just not short. quite enough Ooh. to kill him. Yeah. Uh, but if only I could go with them next, because the reason I wanted to try them with Talzin is at the start of their turn, if they pay a force to say, I'm a Death Mirian, they can then heal when they shoot people. So get your points. Oh, yeah. Three. Um, still three. I, I need to get to an objective. So I think I am going to just go with Cad Bane. So take him out of reserve. There's no shame in it. So he's going to move. So move. Spend a force. Puts me a three force left for rocket boots. Mm -hmm. Get me up this ladder. And then... I suppose we should just shoot at that lady. Two fails. Three fails. Hit three expertise on Cad Bane. Comes out to... Something that's just one more block. Two crits. So I got two crits and a hit. And I got three blocks. Okay, so I got two. Uh, so that's going to be three damage and a disarm. Now I capture the one he's on, so I at least get three points. And does it benefit you to get the petty ones, do you think? At the beginning, actually? Because um, once know. it balances out. Maybe. Let's see. You got pawns. Maybe this is all part of my plan. <laughs> when he activates a uh, charge, it's sort of his activation. He can choose any allied Galactic Republic character. So not him to make a dash. I think I'll go ahead and get Barris moving. So Barris will make a dash thanks to pawns. And then pawns will go. I think I'm just going to do a move with him. Okay. Uh, I can do like, yeah, I could do a climb or whatever just to move mm -hmm. him up to the top here. Okay. So he is in range of that objective. Yeah, very much so. In range of that objective, and then range five of those guys. And we'll take a shot. We're just a... Ooh, we got one crit. Two hits. Two misses. And an expertise. And one expertise on pawns gives two more hits. Um... Three expertise for these guys gives two blocks. So you're blocking three hits? Blocking three hits. So we got two going through. That is going to be... Enough. I'm going to do... Yeah, it'll be three damage, and I'm going to do a reposition with him. Okay, so that wounds them. And then he's going to reposition, actually. Hop on down here. Hmm. Cover that objective. Okay, and now Talzin has a You Hurt My Baby... Thing. <laughs> my baby! You hurt my baby says Ooh. once per turn when an enemy character wounds another allied unit after it's resolved, one character in this unit can dash and then make a five dice attack targeting the attacker. Now is he within range of her? Her range is four. Out of range. He avoids the wrath for now. We got Mother Talzin. I guess we'll go with her. I assume you are the great mother. No, I am a sinful witch. Start of ability thing. Uh, choose another ally, Death Morian. One character may dash, so that's got to be one of her. Go with uh, right here. She's going to take a move, which gets her up this ladder. 
Those are right there. So, second action, I'm just going to attack him. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> One block. He is only seven wounds. Might not even need to... Because if I get a free thing, I can just use my manipulating hand for free and tell him to walk away. But... Uh. So, you're blocking yeah. one? Yeah. Okay. And you have two, two expertise in melee is a crit and a straight up damage. So put a little damage in the pool here. So that leaves us with four. Okay. It's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six damage. Is that enough Cause with that one free one? Yeah, because he's seven. He doesn't have anything. Because Mace Mundi is not engaged. Okay, well that's going to be 7 damage, a strain. She gets to heal. There's no one nearby to heal. And she gets a free active ability, um, which is only manipulating hand. A character within 4, she can force them to dash. So, so it might be worth doing to Mace. Yeah, I'm going to manipulate Mace. Yes, there we go. So we'll just... Uh, We'll send him over here, I guess. Um, so that was a wound. Yes. I have a couple wounded a guy abilities. Uh, well, Cad Bane says when an allied character wounds an enemy after the effect is resolved, refresh a force. Puts me back to four. It'd be kind of fun to have different colored cubes for uh, what caused it so like a red cube if it came from a wound or a like a white cube if it was a pity point just, it would be it'd be cool just for like a data set yeah oh and now i have i have i get this one now yes so that's a four. four yeah so back in the middle so we each get one barris we're gonna spend a lot of force but we could do something force speed up to about there. Okay. And then we'll spend two force to force push Cad Bane back. Where that. Yeah, take care. Yeah. Um, Ow. Oops. So we're gonna run just right up here to Ara Singh and attack her. Uh oh. So that'll be six dice. Pew, 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 pew. Ooh! Ooh. 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 So we got two misses. We got a crit, a hit, and two, two misses. Expertise. That's called Mormon style. <laughs> Three expertise becomes a block. Turn a crit into a fail. Ooh, so that crit goes to a fail. And a free climb. However, she I, won't so, be able to climb because she's engaged. So that's all of your interactions with mine, right? Yeah. So I get from two expertise. Technically, you do your expertise before I do mine. Then I get a crit and two hits, but I already flipped a crit. Yeah. So that'll put me to a crit and three hits, which you'll block the hits. Yep, so just one gets through. Yeah, which will be two damage, and I get a reposition. And I'll just go. And, oh, wait, now that I'm not engaged, at the very end, I get to use a free climb. So I guess I'll just take my free climb to go here. Okay, and it'll put us back to three and three. Ooh, Django! Django! Django probably wants to get next to Talzin, so if Windu gets up there, he can't shove her off and take it. Django is going to move. Jetpack up to here, next to his new mummy. And then he is going to shoot at the handmaid on the level above him. Ooh, not great. Ooh, not also great. not great. So my well expertise in range two becomes two crits. So that's cool. Uh, two expertise becomes one block. So so I got two. Yeah. Which is going to be three damage and a strain. Go ahead. And then uh, that gives me three points again. Back to the middle. Uh, we're going to draw, and we get Shatterpoint. Which I don't know if Mace can do. Yeah, because we manipulated it, and we said, but, what's, that? what's that over there? He goes, what? <laughs> Mace is going to 
go because it's the shatter point card being used on him and he's in the jedi master form i get two force back and i can heal two but there's nothing to heal um and then because of the mission i get another force back so i have i'm back to five force and i will go to do his rush to action choose pawns yeah get out of here there and windu yeah good enough yeah Okay, so it's still yours. You have two people on there. I have one. Yep. Good. So who you? What I think. You gonna swat somebody. I think it's a bit worthwhile to swat Talzin. I don't like her hand ability. Oh, so actually, I have another because that was his uh, rush to action. So I'll do a focus and then attack. Match for my match. Ooh, ooh, not bad. Three expertise is two blocks and turn one of your crits into a hit, please. Okay. So I'm blocking four. Um, and then I'm going to spend two force to reroll those two misses. So that's a miss. Then two expertise here for him is just one crit. So it looks like you're getting three. A total of six damage and an expose. Magic is only an illusion. <laughs> it for me. Three points. And now I've got shatter points. So Django is going to take a focus action, which gives him a free jump to here with focus. Spend a force for jetpack. Go back here so he's not engaged. And then I will shoot at that handmaiden again with a focus. So I got seven this time. <laughs> <laughs> not me! Uh, four expertise <laughs> on Django's range is two crits <laughs> and a hit. You only need to do two damage. So you're blocking one, which means one, <laughs> two, three, four, five successes. You're going to get wounded. So I can get a free active ability, which I can't do jetpack. I could capture wire, but that would, all that would do would be pull you towards the point, which I don't want to do, or pull you off, which will give it, her an easier time to do her little I'm climbing thing. So pulling her with a capture wire, even for free, it doesn't seem You good. could pull ARF. So. Okay, no free capture wire. So I'll take the free jump. You could use it on the ARF if you wanted, right? I'm going to just take uh, two free jumps, because I don't want to push her overboard, because she likes being low when she starts her turn. Mm -hmm. So that, just for those keeping count, she will get a strain. One, two... She already has a strain and a uh, disarm. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten damage <laughs> uh, with two jumps for Django. Sounds like the like the name of a children's song. Two jumps for Jenga. <laughs> so he'll go back there. Um, so we got that wound. Because he wounded somebody, Cad Bane uh, gets to refresh a force. Because Jenga's a bounty hunter, we refresh another force. Cad Bane also gets to heal. He has no one to heal. And then this becomes mine, which puts me at four. No. Oh. Put it there, right? Yep. Because I was on three. Ooh. All right, well, good shatter point turn. So you've got arfs. I mean, you just had to get two people up there. They don't have to do anything to them. They just true. go, excuse me, part of me. Um. Oh, and I refresh a force because that was my shatter point card, which puts <laughs> yeah. me back to full force. Um, so let's put a force on defensive maneuver to move him. He'll move up to this ingress point. Land right there. This one's defensive maneuver will go there. We'll do a move action with them. This one's just going to move a bit right there. And this one's just going to make a uh, climb, whatever action to land right here. So we can have both in range two of the objective and outside of engagement of him so we can keep our hunker. Padme is currently in aggressive negotiations. And they are in range four of her, so we will add a dice to their pool. <laughs> okay. Uh, two defense, two blocks. Block and three. So 
two expertise is one more hit. So you'll block three hits. That'll leave me with three. And so a total of three damage, a pin, and an expose. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah it yeah. doesn't matter because it's... So uh, they're doing coordinated fire disarm? Disarm, yeah. Oh, man. Django's disarm, pinned, and exposed already. And then our second shot... So I don't think coordinated fire says you have to be unwounded. It, no, it just it just says when a character in another Galactic Republic unit makes an attack as part of a combat action for yeah. a world, this unit may. Okay, so uh, I'm only blocking one. Uh, wow, that's a lot of hits. Uh, oh my goodness. So two more expertise is just one more hit for them. You're blocking one. Yep. So it leaves me with six, mm. which is their whole tree. Mm. Um, Can it do six damage? Um, yes. No. Because you already have an expose. Right? Or no, it, it yeah. fell off, right? No. Oh, wait. It falls off at this point. Because you didn't, I think? Right. Because I know you can re-expose somebody, which would imply it fell off before this. So my full tree would be four, and it would be a total of five damage, an expose, a push, and a, oh, nope, and a pin, which would be another damage. Okay, the pin... Wait, so five damage and a pin, so six damage total? Yeah, because you already have a pin, right? Oh, yeah, so yes. that, that pushes it to nine. No, so he gets wounded. Um, and then, can I push you while you're pinned? Yeah, because that, that's have, not a move. That's th a, so I have a push, I'll use that. It is a shove. shove. A shove includes a push and, an, and a pull, both of which are optional. self Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so that'll put me to three now. I'm back to three and three. Yeah, yeah. Fortunately, one, two, three. Okay, my turn. Uh, yes. So I need. You need to wound somebody. I need to wound somebody or take or a point yeah. back, and we've got to do that with the Night Sisters, who have all the force in the world to work with. Oh. Sorry, one more thing. Talzin gets to, uh, you hurt my baby because you wounded Django. Yes, towards the arcs, right? Yeah. yeah. So she gets to dash. She's just gonna, she's gonna go over here. Uh -huh. Maybe in case one of her night sisters wants room. And then make a five dice ranged attack against the arcs. Okay. Beautiful. Three is a crit and a hit, so you're blocking that. That's three damage. And that one, right? So it's two. I pulled one off already. Before? Okay. Yeah. I blocked two. Yep. Okay. Uh. Oh wait. No, I pulled. There you go. So two. Yeah. Not enough to get me another manipulating hand. We will do two damage, four damage, and a heal. Heal is going to be. She's going to heal the. Expose off of herself and then also um, life drain. Um, she can uh, heal herself with life drain. Yeah. Okay, so now the Knight Sister Acolytes. I don't think they can do this. I think their only choice is to try and wound the Arps. Let's spend a force to acrobatic advance. So this one's going to jump up here and then go up here. This one will go here. We are now hunkered. We get to move. Um, this one is going to move up here. This one, can we make it all the way across? Yeah. So this one is going to move over here. No more hunkered. So what we're gonna do, because they have Night Hunter, when a character in the scene of makes a ranged attack as part of a combat action, if the target character is engaged with another Death Marion, I get... So when the one down here shoots, she's going to get two extra dice because you're engaged. Yeah. So this one is going to shoot, uh -oh. assuming we have range. What range is it? Uh, they're range five. Five? Probably. Yes, yeah. we got range. So this one is going to shoot at this guy. Okay. Uh, that's six with two bonus because you're engaged with my person so eight dice 
Whoa. Ooh, okay. I got four blocks. And you've got two crits, which... Two expertise is two more hits. Yeah, so you're blocking four. Three through is... Uh, it's going to just be three damage and an expert... And an expose. That'll wound him. Okay, that's enough. Yeah. Woohoo! Yeah, give me a wounded token. And I'll take my cube. Uh, you also take that point back. Nice. Not that it so much matters now, I think. Um, no. Well, the other one, I guess, can just shoot at Windu or Padme because mm -hmm. everyone she's engaged with is wounded. Yes. We will shoot at Windu because he's engaged with another Death Mirian, so I'll still mm -hmm. get eight dice. Um, uh, just a crit to a hit, and I get two more blocks. So I get three blocks, but it won't okay, really so matter. I got two through, yeah. which is going to be a pin. He has so he he's engaged now, so he has protection and steadfast. So pin. Okay, pin matter. and a shove. So well, he gets a pin and one damage because uh, protection removes. They would do two protection yeah, at one. Got it. Oh, also, I guess these guys should have gotten pinned from that attack as well. Yeah. So that's one, two, three, four points now. Mm -hmm. Seals the first struggle. Have struggled greatly. Okay. All right, priority now. <clears throat> priority. Center. Yeah. All right, so my last card is going to be Padme. We will use our last force for Royal Command on herself. I guess Barris could too. Actually, let's do that. We use Royal Command Ooh. on Barris. Uh -huh. She will hop over here. That's better, because now you got three points. Yeah. Um, and then that leaves her open to do a focus action, which lets her do a free dash. Her rate and range of R Singh. So now she has, she gets took a focus, you get a free dash from that, and she gets sharpshooter two. So we get a total of 10 dice. Ooh, that'd be good. Well, her one expertise uh, gives a block and turns a crit to a fail. Ooh, so that goes to a fail. Her expertise are good. We got two expertise, and on that one, that's a crit and a hit. Crit and a hit means you're blocking four hits, right? So I got three coming through. Um, so that'll be, but we can do five. Ugh. And a push. Yeah. And a shove. Shove. Which will just, can I get you over that edge? Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just put it down there. Oh. Okay, so do what here? Yeah. We did get three, because we'll have this one and the center one now. That is the end of mine, so I'll get all my force back and back to you. Priority is the one by Padme. You have potential. If I get Django or the Night Sisters or the Bounty Hunters, I guess. Well, we got Django. Django! Can Django, how much Ooh. he's got left? Just three? Just three, and she doesn't have a hunker or anything. Django can do that. Yeah, I think Django's my best bet because he might be able to get a... Best case, he can get a wound and get a priority objective. Here, can you give him a move action straight towards the objective? Okay, so he's gonna... He land there from the move. Yeah. Where's yeah. his head? It's on his, by his feet. Oh. Do you have a magnet in the vase also? Yes. Okay. He's got an owl head now. So he's going to uh, spend two force to jetpack. So yeah, move him there. And then he is going to attack Padme. Um, do you want to go, do you want to land in? I, punching is fine. Punching does you are more punching. damage. You okay, yeah. that's, that's fine. So we're going to punch her. His dice are the same, but... Melee expertise is a little better. I am disarmed, actually, so it's irrelevant. Mm -hmm. Punch! 
I only rolled one expertise. Take that, disarmed. <laughs> well, you got two crits there, I see. Mm -hmm. I have one expertise, which is just uh, another block and a heal after. Um, so, yeah, two crits get through. Two crits is going to be three damage and a strain. Which will be just enough to wound her. Woo! Give me that cube. So, because... Uh, um, and then you give me the strain, but she gets a heal from my expertise, so I pull the strain off. Okay. Um, because we wounded somebody... Cad Bane refreshes a force and gets to heal because you pushed our sing back. Oh. <laughs> you can actually heal her. Um, it's just a heal one. So take one off of our sing. Okay. Puts her at six. And then because Django was a bounty hunter who did the wounding, uh, oops, we get to refresh another force. Refunded his double force jetpack. And then um, that's mine now because Padme's wounded. So I'll give you two? Two points. Which will give you a pity one. Also, right? Yes. You can go with Maze. Ooh. You could put him in reserve, though. Yeah, so we're going to go with him. We will do the uh, his rush to action. So his rush to action will pull off his own pinned. Okay. And then he, the arfs are going to be the other ones that benefit from it. They're just leaping over like it's a diving board. Yippee! Yes. Okay, so they're wounded though, so it won't matter for. But we are in range. Yeah. Um, and then Mace. Now he pulled his pinned off with hit that, and now he will. So Talzin has. She has five health till she's wounded. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead. And just do an attack as my first action. Hey! Four expertise. Does it even go that high? Yeah, four plus is our last track. You ready for what that does? Well, do yours first. What? Yeah, so I got, I'm got. i going to do a reroll also. So, uh, two expertise is just one more crit. And... Oh, wait. No, so this would go, I would do my reroll first, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we'll reroll those two. Um, so we got that, and then that's a crit. Okay. My four is two blocks, a crit to a hit, and a hit to a fail. So I go to a fail. So I'm blocking four. So I got, you got just one. Yeah. Woo! So just two. Uh, no, let's do a strain and one damage. A strain and one damage. Yeah. So he's still engaged with her, so he will just move onto the other side here. Um, and he will flip to Jedi Master form. Okay. And that gives you one point. No, oh. I didn't roll priority. Oh yeah, what was priority? Maybe you got two points. You don't. No. One point. One. Okay, my turn. Priority is the center one. And we're going with shatter point. I'm going to make a maybe cool... I'm going to probably say it's suboptimal. We're going to go with Cad Bane with the shatter okay. point. So he gets a free dash because of the thing. Yeah. He is going to spend a force for rocket boots to hop up here. Now he is going to spend a force to say, how about you step aside? So far I haven't spent I any of my uh. actions yet. So he's telling Barris, either you make a dash. If you dash away from that objective, you get disarmed. If you stay put, you're going to get an expose and a strain. So I'm going to pay you $100 to f*** off. So Barris gets to do a dash. Yeah. But, I mean, she can go nowhere if she wants, but. Mm. Okay. The token's down there. Do I need to, like, weight the bases of all of these? It sounds like a hassle, what... but it would be helpful. I think that's, like, the best 
solution to these. But it's also like heavy enough to carry around on my terrain. Yeah, I think. Uh, so bear's very likely because I'll be exposed if I stay. Is that right? Yes, exposed and strained if you stay. She's only eight health. I think, yeah, I think I'm just gonna dash. I'll use the dash and I'll land right here. Okay, so now she is disarmed. And just disarmed? Yep. Okay, so I still have two actions. We're gonna switch over to as long as I get paid, we are going to move. So he's gonna step back away from her. Okay. Over here, and then he's going to shoot her. Ooh, good thing I wasn't exposed. Yeah, okay. So two expertise for Cad Bane becomes two crits. So two expertise for me becomes one and a reposition after. Okay, so you're blocking one, which leaves me with four, which means one, two, three. You're already disarmed, so that becomes a damage. So two, four, seven. Um, let's make it eight and a strain. So protection will bring it down to seven. Yep. So I'll live. <laughs> Uh, live by one? Yeah, by one. The seven. And then I get a reposition. And with that reposition, I'm gonna just go full on chase you. That makes sense, because so now I can't can. take it. Yeah. Okay. Well, that would, like, if I had gone with those bounty hunters, it would have been an easy two points, but I guess I get one point plus... I would say I was lucky, but my point. whole defense dice was just two expertise. Your turn. Roll a priority. That one over one there. One Barris is on. Yeah. So handmaidens. I think there's foot maidens. <laughs> there probably are. They just have like uh, blue colored robes or something. Uh -huh. We will pull off of a strain. Okay, so they're still disarmed. Yeah. Going to do a move action. This one's going to do... Oh, no. And then this one is to engage with your night sister who's not wounded, right? So I have to do a slow move. Yep. But that does let me go there, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I can hop over to this side. Like right there. Hmm. Oh! Oh, she's um, overhanging! Actually? Overhanging! Yeah, so we'll just... Illegal! We're going we're gonna to go down here. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't want to overhang. So... Okay. <laughs> we're going to spend a force... Or sorry, two force for exposed flank on them. And so that just gives them a free climb. And then they get a free... It gives them a focus. Uh, they get sharpshooter one, and they immediately make a focus action. Yeah. yeah. So two extra attack dice. So, he's, so she will climb up to here. Oh, wait. Priorities. That was Priorities this one. That one, yeah. Um, and this one is going to climb... Oh, yeah. So we'll just climb up behind Barris, so we're still capturing... But we can shoot... Cad Bane? Yeah. Yeah. We'll go back a little more. Okay. Yeah. So this one, I think, is just out of Cad yeah. Bane, so we got to choose somebody else. And uh, Talzin is close. Arsing is close. So this one, we'll shoot down at Talzin. Okay. So first one going to Talzin. Uh, this just, I'm blagging four. Well, so, um, I did roll four expertise, mm -hmm. <clears throat> but the one token that they did have on them was a disarm, so nothing. Yeah. Okay, now shooting at Cad Bane. Now Cad Bane, yeah. Ooh, three fails. One expertise is just a block. Uh, two expertise is two more hits. So you're blocking three hits, and I'll mm -hmm. do three through. Um, so Barris. <clears throat> yeah, so we'll do a, a four damage, a heal, and a disarm. So for the heal, we're going to pull the strain off of Barris. And so that'll be three. Priority yes. is the one Cad Bane is on, so I hope I get Cad Bane or, or a Singh. Talzin. 
I think I'm gonna spend a force to put Talzin in reserve. Okay. Which, eh. So that gives us the Knight Sisters. Also not great. Um, so they're gonna spend a force to do some acrobatic advance. How do we get to Barris? So, one thing they've interested, just keep in mind. Stop! <laughs> You can't melee Barris, but I don't think you can, because they will have to attack the Handmaiden. You know what? I'm going to start with the acrobatic advance. Okay. Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's do this. Okay, we'll do it. So okay. this one is going to jump over here, okay. and this one is going to just leap all the way over mm. Windu to the ground. Yeah. So we're not engaged. We get our hunker, which means we get an extra die on ranged attacks. So now the one on the ground here is going to shoot at Barris with an extra die. Four expertise is a crit and two hits. You're blocking three. Mm -hmm. So you block all my hits. Two get through. That is two damage, a pin, and a shove. So does she still have protection? Mm -mm. Oh, okay. And she doesn't have So two damage, so that's a wound, right? Yeah, but uh, you know what? We will shove her, since she's not steadfast either. We'll just push her to the edge here. Okay. And then the other one is going to... I guess we'll just shoot at Windu again, because yeah. because we're hunkered, we get an extra die, and because you engage with the Death of Mirian, we get two extra dice. So that's a lot of extra dice, but their damage output's not great anyway. One expertise, just one hit. Uh, two expertise is one more block, a crit to a miss, and a hit to a miss. Hit to a miss. And a crit to a miss. I didn't have oh, any no. crits. So oh. three, I got one through. So that is one damage and a pin. Does he have protection? Mm -hmm. So it's this, so while he's engaged, Ali Black and Rumble characters on five at steadfast and statue. Would have him. Okay, so just no damage then. Okay. And then they have one more action, right? Yep, which we're going to want to move. Yeah. So this one is going to go whoop up here. They lose their hunker because they're now engaged. This one is going to climb mm -hmm. up top. So I'm not going to take that center one, but engaged. at least I'm up here. Um, so this one was the priority. So this one's mine. So that's three points. And another pity point. Ah, it's not good. Um, and I wounded somebody, so Cad Bane gets a force back and can heal one. Okay, uh, okay now it's your turn. Priority. Yes. Same one. All right, let's see. We got... Pawns? Pawns. I don't know if I like pawns for this. No, we're going to spend a force to put pawns in reserve. And it'll be Barris. Barris? Well, that's probably pretty good. Yeah. We've got to go with her. Yeah. I mean, so... and she's on the, the priority. <clears throat> yeah. That is pretty good. So we will go with her. We will take away her disarm. Um, and then, let's see, so we are engaged currently with the Sisters and Cad Bane. Uh -huh. So, we'll go ahead and focus and attack Cad Bane. Ooh! Ooh! Cad Bane, oh! no! Ooh! What are you doing, Cad Bane? So I'm blocking two. Two? Yep. So I got two through. It's two damage and two pushes, which should get you over the edge, right? Two damage, puts him at five. Yeah, one to the edge. Actually, the first one will get me over. Okay. And then... Just go back again, but so that'll get me the point at least. Yeah. But that will give me three points. Mm-hmm. One, two, three. Hmm, priority is the one that Django's on and still has, because all those people by Django are wounded, right? <laughs> yeah. They're just like shambling um, over to him like, ugh. 
But if Padme can go, uh, I just mm. well. So I've got, I've currently got three cards left. One I know is Shatterpoint, one's Padme. Well, we're going with Cad Bane. Do I want to go with Cad Bane? Spend a force for Rocket Boots. Should just get me back up there. Mm -hmm. um, we will spend a force to tell her to screw off. So you may, if you stay put, you get exposed and strain. If you walk away, you just get disarmed. If you walk away, that point becomes mine. Right. But I'm also, it's also very likely the point series too, because she only has five defense dice and only eight wounds. Oh, how about this though? She's what? pinned. Oh. So me telling her to move, no matter what she does, she's so gonna she lose the pin and okay. get strained yeah, and right. disarmed. Because she did a move. After that move, she's still contesting All right. it. Good job, go Cat Bane. What a pro move. And then you're going to punch me? Um, or I still have two actions. Oh, yeah. I'm going to flip my card back to Needs No Introduction, which might be less damage output. Um, the rest of those abilities don't matter. So we are going to focus and then punch her. Or use a flamethrower, to be more precise. Good, Ooh. no expertise. Uh, that's pretty good too. Ooh. Uh, my one expertise and it becomes a hit. Uh, so you're blocking four. Yeah. So I get three. So that will be five damage total. A heal on Cad Bane. A and a shove. Okay. And obviously we will yeah, push her okay. overboard. Whee! So we get this one back. Three points. And a pity point. Uh, okay, your turn. Priority. All right. Ooh, the, the center, center one, one finally. Let's see. Shatterpoint. Shatterpoint. You, whoever goes gets a free dash, remember. Yes, so we'll go with uh, Mace because he has a he has this thing, so he'll get a free dash to get rid of the pin from the okay. chat. And then he will do his rush to action. I think Pons needs to start moving this direction. So we're just gonna move him okay. that way. And then he gets a free dash. Mm-hmm. The free dash and the rush to action. Will land me. Don't knock anything over. Ah. Like right there. Okay. And then full move. Yeah, that'll be plenty of room to go right in there. Yeah. Okay. Are you engaged with Cad Bane? No. No, I'm not. Okay. So I do have the Night Sister. I'm gonna have to try to kill her. Oh. He, that, that was a shatter point, so he was on the Jedi Master. Mm -hmm. So I should have gotten two force back and a heal. Uh, it's actually a heal three, which just would have been him. So I can pull that off. We're going to switch to the other form, and we will attack with seven dice. Uh huh. So that gives us one block. Um, I got. Three expertise, and I'm gonna reroll this with a force. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's Ooh. four expertise. Gives me eh, two more crits. Five expertise on that would be three crits. So you're blocking one. Yep. So we got four coming through. Oh boy. Uh, how much health are there? Seven. Eight and a disarm. Okay, so they are wounded. Get a murder cube. Because you hurt my baby, Talzin gets to take a dash, so she's going to um, just kind of follow along the, mm -hmm. the trail, the Windu trail. And. Uh, range four. Is that right? Uh, yeah, she's range four. I think it's just out. Yeah, can't reach. Okay, so that is yours again now. So that's three points for you. Yep, it's priority, yeah. 
So one, two, three. Hmm. Should I go with Talzin now? She's been in reserve for a while. Oh, let's see what's priority. Uh, same one in the center. I'm gonna take Talzin out of reserve. Her thing lets a Death Marion dash. We will tell this one to just hop over here. Talzin is going to climb. And now Talzin has to do eight damage. Yeah. Or just get three successes so I can tell her to walk off. For free, yeah. 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 With the active. That's, that's really good. Oh, she takes... Oh, the strain. Move up there. Lose a strain. Take three damage. Puts her at nine out of ten. Yeah. Ooh, okay, so now we're going to attack that handmaiden. One expertise becomes a crit and a damage in the pool. So you're blocking two of these. Yeah. So I've got one, two, three, four successes. So that will be... Then one... I, have, I will have protection and steadfast. Okay. Uh, one, two, two damage. Two damage and a heal. So we'll heal her. Uh, free active ability that happens at the end. Two more damage and a heal. Is yes. it seven total? Yeah, six, seven right? total, so you take six damage. And then her life drain will heal her another one. That was a three Oof. heal turn. That basically just undid the uh, strain from earlier. Yeah. And then uh, we'll use our manipulating hand to manipulate her to jump over back this way, because that seems like the least useful place for her to go. What? Go jump off a balcony. What? Uh, okay, so the center one is mine. So you will get three. Three right. points. Yeah, priority? Yeah. It's the center one again? Center one. So I can go with pawns. He is not going to be a great option. So I will draw. It'll be the arfs. Arf, arf. I mean, they can just take that one away from Django, but... That's not the priority. Yeah. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to do a defensive maneuver first. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, they... oh, no, they're wounded. So. Oh, they're wounded. Okay, yeah. So, so we'll flip this, pull those off, and we'll pull that off. Get rid of their pin. Yeah. All right, so then first, now they are wounded, so it'll cost two force to do a defensive maneuver. And this Where are they one. up to? We'll follow him. Um, they will get a hunger token, but I'm telling you right now that they're going to climb. So they will lose that. So this one's going to climb and land about there. And this one's just going to climb up here. Uh, all right. To be there. Yep. Um, so th we're going to start with this one. Yeah. And he's going to shoot at Talzin. Okay, shoot at Talzin and then punch Talzin. Four expertise is block, block, crit to hit. Okay. I got one expertise is another hit. You just said crit to hit. Crit to hit and hit to blank. Hit to blank. Block uh, three, so, so two. Coming two. That'll be a... Total of two damage, <clears throat> a push, and a, and a uh, pin. Ugh. So that push. Do you want to go this way? Can we just? Uh, yeah. Can, well, you can't land on the handmaiden, can you? If she would land on the handmaiden, she'd like keep going until she can. Stop. I yeah. If I could do that, I might be able to shoot down with him, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that then. Okay. So she basically falls on top there. of the pan handmaiden. And slides past her. Alright, so now the other one can shoot her. Hmm. That one's not uh, as good. One expertise is a hit. I got four misses, so that's good for you. But I got two oh, crits. I only, I'm only blocking two. Uh, so one, two crits going through. Is going to be two more damage, a pin. So it'll be three damage total. Which will get it, right? Yeah, yeah. That she's wounded. And a push, another push. Get your murder cube. 
murder cube, and then that puts me, so priority, it's into them. So that's, uh, that'll flip three that points one. for you. Yeah. Uh, priority is the same one in the middle. We've got Aura Singh. I don't know if I can change a point here. So handmaids have two health left. Handmaids have, so if I can wound the handmaids and get up there, I can do it. So I'm going to start by shooting at the handmaidens. Okay. Plus, check this out. When a character in this unit makes a ranged attack as part of a combat action, if the defender is engaged with one or more <laughs> allied characters... Because we are engaged, right? Yep. Just not, yeah. Uh, that units that are not wounded may add three dice to the attack roll. If it does, choose one of the engaged units. The chosen character suffers two damage. So they will. They can't take damage. Okay. So... She just gets three extra dice. Uh, that units that are not wounded. Uh, that units that are not wounded. Uh, that units that are not wounded. Cheaters! Yeah. Cheaters! Cheaters! Uh, only two fails. You're blocking three. Yeah. Uh, her expertise becomes an auto damage. <laughs> So, they will get protection and steadfast, at least. So, one, uh, you're blocking those three. So, I got four successes and an auto damage. So, auto damage is negated. It'll just be everything on your tree. So, you, you just need two. <sighs> Wasn't enough to get me that reposition I really wanted. So, I don't know if I can actually get up there. Because if I had a force, I could do hit and run to get an, a reposition. Mm -hmm. But I don't. So, they're definitely wounded, right? You only need two damage to win them. So for sure, oh, right? actually, huh? Check this out. Okay, so yeah, we will do a pin, uh, just a bunch of damage and yeah. expose. Okay, so that's the end of the attack. Yes. Now I have multiple things that react to the end of this attack. You wanna give me another? Uh, because they're wounded. Yeah. So the first thing I will do is I'll take on any job for the right price. So Cad Bane says. Get a force and heal. Okay. Because a bounty hunter did the wound, get another force. Yeah. So now yep, yep, my yep. second reaction will be hit and run after this makes a combat action, use this ability, spend a force to get a reposition. Is this... Yeah, we'll just go over here. Uh huh. And then with our second action, we will take a climb to hop up here. Okay. Which will swing this point back. We don't get the priority. But at least we got a point. So that's only a two-point turn. So I can go Pawns or Padme. And for the sake of the batteries on every camera here, I hope I win this struggle. <laughs> uh, that is the center point. Center one again, huh? Yeah. And then I will go... That one's going to be a mess over there. And I only have one force. So we're, yeah, we're going to go Padme. So she's wounded now, take all the damage off. Yeah, she's going to focus just to go slightly out of range here, but still on range of the objective. So she's going to move? Oh, focus, focus gives, gives her a move. free dash. Yeah. Um, and she will shoot at Django. Uh, and we'll, flip, we'll flip the side before we shoot. So she gets a total of nine dice. Django is exposed. Ew. Black and one, no longer exposed. Um, so I got, you're black and one? Yep. So I got five coming through. Uh, you're gonna have, that's my whole tree. That'll be two pushes, a pin, a disarm, and seven damage. He's already disarmed, so that makes it eight damage, which puts him one, one away. away. And then we get two pushes. But he keeps his head. Yeah. So that'll put that on. Okay, so that's three points. Priority. Uh, give me a good one. It's the center one. <laughs> and we have bounty hunters. They can take me that point if I push one of your guys off or wound them. Getting a sh Do they have shoves? 
But they have steadfast, don't they? Uh, yeah. Ugh. Yeah. That means... They're need... exposed. Yeah, I need two shoves then, because they got two shoves. Uh, okay, we're, we're gonna we're gonna do it the riskier way, because we're bounty hunters. I'm gonna spend their force for tools of the trade, which says they get sharpshooter two and impact two. The first action will be focus, which adds three dice to these attacks, because now they have sharpshooter. Okay. And then we, uh, De Deveronian shooting at that guy. All right. And we are exposed on this one, which mm. is great. That'll go away. Four expert. Five. <laughs> Five expertise. Five expertise. And they only go up to two. So that's a crit and an auto damage. And you're blocking that. So I got one and the damage. They have protection, right? Yeah, so the auto damage will go to protection and you'll get one damage through. Is that right? And they have steadfast. So yeah. that's going to be three total minus one, so two damage. Okay. Yuck. All right, the other guy, same thing. Ah! <laughs> But you're not exposed. But still, no, that's but probably still, not great. It's two blocks, which I guess okay. Um, two expertise <laughs> is a crit and an auto damage. Oh wait, that was three. Doesn't matter. So you're blocking those two. So I've got three. So that is going to be one, two, three, four damage plus one. So five damage in a pin. Minus one. So they're at six and a pin. One short? Yes. Uh, and I'm short of force because I think Cad Bane, yeah, that costs a force. He could immediately shoot at them, mm -hmm. but it costs a force. Uh, so that's going to be just one point for me. I get my force back. Which priority is this one. that one? Uh, I have to go with pawns. Pawns chooses uh, somebody else to make a dash action. Listen, pad me over this way. Um, and then pawns go ahead and make a move. You're just going to come this direction up until we're right out of range of Django so we can take a shot. Yeah, so I'll go right there. Mm. Ooh. One expertise is two more hits. Two expertise is two blocks. Oh, you got to crit though. That's, yeah. Is that enough? Does that do it? Yeah, that's two, two damage. Two damage, yeah. So that'll wound him. And I'll make two. Struggle two goes to Ooh. David. We've struggled. We've endured. Shatterpoint gives us a dash again. So we got this wobble. That one. Here we go. Priority for the start of struggle three. Priority is this one. The tall one. Night sisters. Yeah, I guess I'll go with them. Let's start by moving. So they each have to dash. Whee! Okay, let's spend a f two force for acrobatic advance. So they're both gonna just be up here. Okay. That one was the priority, yeah. Yep. Yeah. With a hunker token. Mm -hmm. And then their second action is going to be to shoot at somebody. I think we should shoot at Barris because she's almost toast. <laughs> let's start. It's probably by, a good idea. Let's start by shooting at Barris. Just rain down on her because they get an extra die because they have a hunker token. And Mace is still engaged, so she's getting protection and steadfast. My only saving grace. So we'll go with the one with the bow shooting at her. Okay. One expertise one, is just one more block. Two expertise is two hits. Plug in three. Yeah. Oof. So I got three getting through. That will be one, two, three damage. Down to two. Yeah. Because then I take Not her Not wounded yet. Uh, with a pin, a shove, which we can't do because of window, and an expose. 
So she's just got everything. Then the other one, I guess we'll make the same attack. Hoping we could get her in one. Mm. There you mm -hmm. go. Uh, just blocking two. One, blocking two, so that's four. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, there's really any more tokens nothing you different. Give? Yeah, the tokens are all going to be the same yeah. for damage. You're going to give me a wounded. All right, now Barris is on the way out too, and they get a jump which I'm not going to use. So, murder cube, uh, refresh a force because I wounded somebody. I get the priority one. Are the handmaids wounded? Uh, yes. Um, and I get the one by Talza. Okay. And, uh... Try just wouldn't have moved pawns. So that's three. Pawns. Which I could grab that. Oh, now you got a right roll for priority. 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 Same uh, one. Priority! Uh, Talza's wounded right now, though. Oh, you're so right, you she is, so yeah. that's not mine. So, take away one of my points. Yeah. I think we're gonna, we're gonna spend a force to put pawns off to the side for now. Okay. Don't yeah. you do it. We'll go with the handmaidens. Ooh, their last great. gas. Yeah. Um, okay. So, who, they can't really, so we can grab a point with one, that might be good. Um, yeah, one can for sure get a point. The other and one. The other one can probably just wound or sing. So we are just gonna do a climb here. Easy Ooh. does it. And land like there. So we'll shoot your little guy first from her. Not my little guy. Aha! Four. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. And then their expertise is just one more hit. But you're blocking that. So three so crits. Three. A total of four damage. And a disarm. And the heal. But I guess okay. it'll blow. Uh, and then the other one shooting down into R Sing. Ooh, not what I need from you, R Sing. Two one. expertise in melee is a crit and a damage. One expertise for me turns into one and turns a crit to a fail. No! <laughs> Her expertise are so good. So you just take a damage. I'm blocking two. Oh, no, just, it's just the, oh you got uh, an auto damage. From the expertise, yeah. From the melee expertise. Alright, puts her at seven out of eight. Ah, oh, Too bad. Whew. And they expire. I failed you, Senator. No. Well, first I grab that, though. Yes, you get the point. So you're going to end up with uh, two points. And then they go to Naboo Heaven. Rest in peace. So it'll put us back to the center. Ooh, zero. You got the zero cubes. The rare and the prestigious rare. zero cubes. Okay, priority. Uh, okay, the center one is the priority. Shatterpoint gives me a free dash. You know what? I'm going to go with Talzin. So we'll remove her pin. Uh, another Dathomirian can dash. They don't want to. They like their perch up there. <laughs> Talzin is going to start by taking a move action, which will just um, send her up the ladder to here. Then she is going to attack the ARF troopers. We're going to switch over to Great Mothers, because that's better ranged attack. I'm a Great Mother. You don't know. Don't judge me, my parenting. All right, shoot at the ARFs. Just five hits. Just two blocks. So we got three. Three turns into six damage. An Which expose and a shove. Them. Even if they had... They have uh, stuff fast. Yeah, so no way you can shove. They get, a, get an expose and they're wounded. This puts them on their last life. Yeah. Another murder cube. Refresh a force from Cad Bane. And then... I get the one she's standing on. And I get the one that they were standing on. Now that they're wounded, control goes for the bounty hunters. So that is... Sweet, sweet four-point turn. Oof. That was close. You almost got it there. Priority. Uh, that's the one Talzin's on. It's not great. 
Um, we'll draw. Yeah, I don't think you got anybody who can... Windu, can he get over there? Maybe. Um, she might be blocking the ladder for him. So first things first, we got ready to action, so we get choose another uh, unit to do a free dash. We'll go ahead and do Padme. We'll do a free dash to go up this ingress point. Okay. And then Mace will get a free dash. But they are... They have four health left. Yeah, that's the problem. They'll slow him down if he tries to run through them. And then I can't go up the ingress here. So there's no way he can make it. Yeah. So the only thing I can do... Let's do my free dash here. You needed that middle point priority. I know. Priorities have changed. Um, and then from there, we can attack the bounty hunter. That'd be my best bet. Yeah. Uh, oop. They, uh, they're blocking one. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. So four expertise is two crits, and you're blocking one. Yep. So we'll do four, which is not enough. So we'll do a strain, expose, six damage, and a disarm. Okay, so they're wounded. So get a murder cube. Yeah. So he can't... I was... It wouldn't matter now, but he could have. If he would have gotten two more, he would have gotten a reposition. Oh. Which, yeah, reposition. Which wouldn't matter. Which I would have. Uh, I would have had to move Padme down here. Yeah. If you shoot it, but it actually wouldn't. The reposition when you wouldn't have been able to. Take it could have set me up for next turn, but I'm on the. I'm gonna get one, and then it's gonna be back to you, and you roll priority, and that should be it. Yeah, even if priority goes to yours. You just need two. Priority is tall or a wound. Yeah, so you just won. But Feel we win to... with Cad Bane. <laughs> what does he even get to do? Barris is on her way out. Arfs are on their way yeah. out. So I think he's going to, you know, because he's cool, he's just going to tip his hat <laughs> and walk away. I'll have to dance another time. All right. That was a good game. Yeah. That, was, that second one was really... I was surprised I won it, but... That was probably the bloodiest game I've played a Shadow Right? Point. How many... If if I would have gone with Barish, she would have died. If I would have gone the Arfs, they would have died. Yeah, how many wounds slash injuries do we got over here? So we got one on Pawns, one on, one on Padme. There was two there. So it's two, four, six, eight total. And on my side, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So 14. And Orasing was just one away for the yeah. whole time. Uh, yeah, that was great. Uh, did Cat Bane didn't get wounded at all? Nope. No, because you ha healed him. Yeah. He kept healing because yeah. every time I wounded somebody, he got to heal one. Yeah. All right. Thanks everybody for watching. Uh, tell David you love him in the comments since this is David's Jodo Cast debut. Good night, kids. <laughs> Ah! <laughs>